Okay, this time we will create a travel map flight animation using Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 17. Create a new Fusion composition, set the duration to 10 seconds, and name it travel map for this demo. Open the composition in the Fusion page. Add a background node to the editor, and set its alpha to zero for a transparent background. I have two maps prepared in the media pool, both have higher resolution than our project, and we want to keep the map detail without resizing to the HD resolution. Drag the first map to the node editor, press F2 to rename it to map 1. Merge it to the background node. Even the map is cropped to HD resolution in the viewer, but the content is still there, they are just hidden outside the viewport. Add the second map to the editor, and merge it with the previous merge node. Since it's merged as the foreground input, the second map is now showing in the viewer. Press F2 to rename the second map to Map 2. Please note that it's always a good idea to give nodes meaningful names for easy node editing experience. Next we will stitch the two maps together to get one bigger map. Select Merge 2 node, go to the viewer, move the map to right until we see the left edge in the middle of the viewer. Select Merge 1 node in the viewer, move the first map to left until the two maps are stitched together. You can merge and stitch more maps if it's required. Once the stitching work is done, we need a way to navigate the map, and bring hidden areas into the viewer. Drag a transform node from the toolbar over the connection line between Merge 2 and Media Out. Rename it to Map, which is our final combined map. While the map is still selected, go to the Inspector, right-click the center parameter, select Animate in the pop-up menu, which enables keyframes for the center parameter, and create a path in the Modifiers tab. Go to the Modifiers tab, Right-click the path title, choose the rename, or simply hit F2. Rename the path to Map Path. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Drag the cross cursor in the viewer to move the map position. In this case, we want our map starting from the bottom left of the map. Move the playhead to the end, change the map position until Europe is showing in the viewer. Now as we move the playhead, the viewer is showing different parts of the map. From the toolbar drag a paint node and insert between the map and media out node. Rename it to flight route, which will be used to draw our travel path. In the viewer toolbar, select polyline stroke. Go to the modifiers tab in the inspector, right click the polyline stroke one title, rename the polyline stroke to flight path. In the viewer, right-click the center of the polyline, select Flight Path, Center, Connect to, Map Path, Position. Move the playhead to the beginning, click Los Angeles to add the start point, where our journey starts. Move the playhead to the end, click Athens to add the end point as our destination. Go back to the beginning, in the viewer toolbar, set the editing mode to insert and modify, to avoid appending points outside of the current path. From Los Angeles to Athens, there are a few other stops. Next one is Orlando, move the playhead forward until Orlando is showing in the viewer. Click the path line, and drag the line to Orlando, where a new point is added. Keep moving the playhead, find our next stop, New York, and drag the line to New York to create another point. Repeat the process, Add points to the next two cities, London and Rome. If the city is not visible, we can drag the flight path center control to move the map view up and down. Once all the city points are added to the path, move the playhead to examine the path, and we can adjust the flight path center to get the desired route appearance. Next we will animate the flight path by enabling the keyframes of the write-on parameter. While we are at the end of clip, enable the keyframe of write-on parameter. Move the playhead to the beginning, change the write-on so that the line is gone, and a keyframe is automatically added as the start of the animation. Play the clip, we see here Orlando is off the screen. 
Drag the flight path center control to move the map view so that the control point is showing properly inside the viewer. Play again, the flight path looks good now. We can also change the color of the path, we set it to orange for this demo. Next we will add an airplane image to lead the animated path. Drag the plane image from the media pool to the node editor. Rename it to plane image. Merge it with flight route. Rename the new merge 3 node to plane. Go to the inspector. Flip the plane image so that it's facing to the right. Right click the center parameter, select animate. Go to the modifiers tab, rename the path to plane path. Before we can connect it to the flight path, we need to publish flight path first. Select flight route node, go to the modifiers tab in the inspector. Under the flight path section, expand the stroke controls. At the bottom, Right-click the shape animation label, choose publish from the menu, and a new modifier flight path, polyline, is created. Select the plane node, in the modifiers tab, right-click the bottom shape animation label, select connect to, flight path, polyline, value. Now the plane is gone, because the plane path center is not animated to follow the map path. Right-click the center of plane path, Select Connect to, Map Path, Position. But still the plane is not showing, we need to animate the displacement so that it can follow the line. Remove the existing keyframe of the displacement, adjust the value, we can see the plane is moving along the path. Move the playhead to the beginning, set the displacement value to zero, enable the keyframe. Move the playhead to the end, set the value to one as the end keyframe. Play the clip, the plane is now moving together with the line. There is one more thing we can do with the plane, we can adjust the angle so that it rotates and follows the moving direction. Go to the Tools tab, right-click the angle parameter, choose Connect to, Plane Path, Heading. Play the clip, and we now have created a flight route animation with a leading plane. If needed, we can also adjust the path points to smooth the path or add some curves. One last thing, we can add a flight scene footage as an overlay above the map. For example, I have a 4K flight footage in the media pool for the demo. Drag it to the node editor. Rename it to flight scene. Merge with the map node. With the merge node selected, go to the inspector. Adjust the blend value as desired, I set it to 0.5 for this demo. Because this is 4K resolution, the footage is cropped to HD in the viewer. Simply drag a resize control from the toolbar and insert after the flight scene node, and the video is automatically resized to HD resolution instead of cropping. Alright, this is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.